All of these human body systems, the nervous, the endocrine, the digestive, and the respiratory, I've grouped them here with the musculoskeletal system. And I would like to make this a little arc of understanding the immune system by focusing on the musculoskeletal system, which by any definition, as yoga teachers, we would know to be our muscles and our skeletal bones, which is basically you know, holds us up and makes this container to hold all these organs in it. But it is an organ system itself. Um, <clears throat> the muscles move the bones. We know this as yoga teachers. But the bones also house what we call bone marrow. That is in where, and now we're going back to this whole cell production thing, new cells being born. New white and red blood cells are created and born in the bone marrow. And as we go further in understanding how yoga can be very, very helpful in managing and making our immune systems work well and stronger, <clears throat> the new white cells in, that are produced in the bone marrow come together with a hormone that is produced from the endocrine system in the thymus gland and produce what is called a lymphocyte. And a lymphocyte is a, what we, as referred to in all of the literature that you might read on cancer, is our natural cancer fighting cells. And one of the reasons why all of us, we all do have cancer, and not all of us are diagnosed with cancer, but there are many lymphocytes looking around in our blood and our lymph system and being the centuries of finding the warriors that find those mutant ninja turtles and hustle them out the door.